Hi, so this is my final project presentation on the high fidelity version of my online teaching prototype. Um, so I choose to create a Google Classroom for my online teaching module on discussion text type for grade 12, use, um, which is related to my previous empty map challenge that seeks to gather data uh, concerning with the prospect of online teaching in Indonesia. I invited several in-service teachers, uh, especially English teachers, to share their ideas, feelings, and expectations to my online empathy map using concept board application. So in general, the challenges are concerning with inadequate infrastructures at schools, specifically the reliable internet access. And teachers also believe that they need to have good uh, IT skill to be a and, but also they, also they consider a wide selection for the online teaching method that fits their, that fits with their real con teaching context. So after analyzing my empathy map, um, I, uh, I, ident I identified like most common themes and at least there, are, there were four main ideas. Um, about this online teaching, how it should how it should look like. So the first the first thing is that it must focus on the needs of, for Indonesian schools context, and then it has to be designed to be adaptable with the infrastructure condition. It also needs to be designed to be applicable with affordable devices, and also it should promote and facilitate collaboration and independent IT skills development. So I choose to, pre to prototype the first um, online teaching design that focuses on the needs of Indonesian schools and the course uh, or subject content is delivered via Google Classroom with the following materials, as you can see here. So I have the outline of the topic here. And then I also have, I use, Google Classroom as one of the tool to share the lesson materials on discussion topic specifically. And then I also use YouTube links. This is, I so I created uh, an instructional video on discussion text type. Hi, welcome to our English class. Have you ever watched an English debate competition? Okay, so that's the example. And the next thing that I that I integrated into this Google Classroom is the electronic textbook which is used in Indonesian schools for grade 12. And this is the book, Interlanguage English for Senior High School Students, grade 12. And then I also use web articles uh, web links, website links for articles that students need to um, finish their writing assignments on discussion topic. I also share website to download mobile applications to help students to finish their assignments such as uh, dictionary application, video maker, uh, or video editor. Also, I use my, um, I share my Facebook group. Um, that's for general discussion forum. So here I have a special post for students to share their questions, concerns, thoughts, or 
I um, maybe they have something to share with their friend. Um, they can share on the comment sections here. Or also, they can go to my Facebook page group where they can share uh, everything that they care. Um, share questions or ideas um, about English subjects, anything related to English subjects, but uh, more specifically about the ongoing class topic. I also created a post for a kind of exercise, a quiz. Um, so the prototype testing session generated constructive feedback from classmates, which mostly concerned with the organization, the content, the media, the audience, the accessibility, the length and clarity of the post. So in response to the feedback given, Google Classroom is a, I found Google Classroom as a very simple uh, online teaching and learning platform. Signing up as a teacher will provide us a simple navigation bar that includes three side page, namely stream, this one, and then uh, student side page and the about. Okay. Um, the stream side page is basically just the quick display of all materials available in the site and not for a special section for each lesson topic. So if students need to go to the, to the ongoing lesson topic, they need to go to these topic sidebars. And then for example, they're here. They are on the discussion text one that, focus on, that focuses on reading and writing. They should go to, this, to its individual side page. And so the content is limited to the materials of the that ongoing class topic. Um, so it's on discussion text type, but fo the focus is on reading and writing. And if they are on listening and speaking, then they just go to its individual site as well, individual site page. Okay, so. For creating content, it is simply by pressing this, uh, uh, not really pressing, it's just uh, pointing your mouse on this uh, plus button and then you can see these uh, tools that you can use to create announcement, create assignment, create questions, or just to use post. Um, so in the Indonesian National Education Curriculum, English is taught using text-based teaching strategy. Discussion is one of text types taught and learned. Um, based on the curriculum, English subjects takes four hours of instruction in each week. So which is divided into two meetings. So for example, here, uh, discussion text type, I've got, I got two, I divided into two, two, two classes here, like two topics here. So um, it will be like w one lesson unit that one lesson unit that is divided into two meetings in 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 a week. Um, and then, so with this online teaching system, yeah, um, the school fa fixed face to face meeting schedules can be tran transformed into uh, self paced online classes in which the fixed to the fixed face-to-face -face schedule uh, will only serve as the due date uh, for all assignments of each lesson unit. With, uh, with that being said, it will be a hybrid online teaching mode. So this is one of the questions from the feedback, whether this is this Google Classroom that I created is, is for uh, fully online or not, or hybrid. So the answer is that it will be an, a hybrid online teaching mode, not fully online. Most possibly a flipped classroom, considering that the internet connectivity available for my target audience is uh, still very low. And so I think my high uh, fidelity prototype, the two lessons topic for teaching discussion text type on Google Classroom, uh, really improved in a much more appropriate way by following the feedback given from the testing stage. 
So thanks uh, to the professor and classmates. I removed some unnecessary posts, worthy posts. I changed unsuitable material, for example, this uh, PDF file. The last time in my last uh, prototype, I used uh, kind of a K, uh, K6 module from published in Australia. And, but this one is really an Indonesian textbook. So uh, based on the curriculum, Indonesian national curriculum, it's a national electronic textbook distributed to all Indonesian schools. So I think it's now uh, better than before. And then um, Google tools like Google Docs and Google Drive became my very effective way to share materials uh, as well as to facilitate collaborative and easy learning uh, tool for students. I also got the idea of providing um, the Indonesian version of the instruction using voice recorder to create an mp3 file which is for me the easiest way to facilitate my target audience who are still or actually still very lack of ability to understand English but written and spoken so I yeah this is how it looks like Hi, welcome to the class. Topik kita kali ini adalah discussion text atau teks diskusi dengan fokus keterampilan berbahasa, reading and writing. Okay. Um, so, I wish I had enough time to improve um, my instructional video by adding quiz and integrate uh, more interactive media such as games. But I, even though I have not been able to include it, to include this on my improved Google Classroom, the course, the feedback will always be beneficial for future improvements. So, well, um, in general, I really enjoy trying to comprehend connection between each stage of designing and developing process that include empty mapping, defining, ideating, prototyping, testing, and iterating. Uh, but perhaps I still need to learn how to specify things into its smaller size to the point that I can really apply the design process in its uh, proper flow. Uh, I believe I will be able to understand very much better when applying what I have learned throughout the entire course in my future uh, real design project. So that's all my final presentation. Thank you so much. <laughs>